21, this is the News Burst on a Thursday morning. Wake up temperatures, 45 degrees in Milwaukee. A little bit cooler in Waukesha is 39 degrees as you get started today. The rest of the Storm Team forecast from Scottsdale, mostly sunny and seasonal today. Going to be nice, high near 67 degrees. In the news, the suspect shot by U.S. Marshals on the streets of Milwaukee in critical condition this morning. Marshals gunned down Mario Lopez near Forest Home in Lincoln yesterday afternoon. Nobody else was hurt. Marquette University Law Poll is out now in the race for governor. It shows Scott Walker with a 50 to 44 percentage point lead over challenger Tom Barrett. This among likely voters. Presidential poll of that same group shows President Obama and Mitt Romney tied at 46 percent. Another example of just how drunk we are in this state. A guy died this weekend in downtown Milwaukee after falling off the sixth floor of a parking garage. He's from North Central Wisconsin. Friends report that they've been out drinking all day. Slurpee, uh, Slurpees, rather, coming to Milwaukee. 7-Eleven apparently in talks to buy up a number of open pantry convenience stores here in southeast Wisconsin. 7-Eleven was here for a while in some locations, but uh, hadn't been in the state for almost a decade. So we'll see if that goes through. Uh, let me see. Your next iPhone could have a bigger screen. Wall Street Journal reporting the screens will grow from 3.5 inches to 4 in the next incarnation of your super smartphone. Didn't get a chorizo the other day. Opportunists are selling those lawn ornaments, uh, some of them with tickets to the Brewers game. We were talking about this. They're up on eBay. Dozens of them up there, some starting at $50. Packers tailgate tour comes to town. Mason Crosby and Jordy Nelson among the players pulling into Kenosha tonight. 30 bucks at the Boys and Girls Club there will get you food, prizes, autographs. Everything gets started at 6 o'clock. Somebody bought that Super Bowl ring that was for sale at the pawn shop up there uh, near Appleton. The asking price was $10,000. We're not sure how much the guy paid for it, but he did buy the ring. Uh, says he's a lifelong Packers fan. Well, that's a nice ring, then. I guess. He says it's a very unique thing. Nobody else has this. Do you wear but that? He's got the, I don't think you wear it. I think you put it out. It's a, it's a knickknack. Why not? Women wear, wear it around? diamond rings all the time. I don't think you're wearing that around. Why not? What good does it do in a case in your house? Because it's just like a thing that you would hang on the wall, a poster or something. But it's a Super Bowl ring. It's a ring. Oh, you, you don't, don't wear, wear it around. Yeah. Show your friends. <laughs> I do. I say you wear it. Show your friends. <laughs> As has been the pattern this season, the Brewers follow a big offensive night with a struggle at the plate. Pitching nothing to write home about either. Houston 8, Milwaukee 3. Same two teams in H-Town tonight. Are there any questions?